so this is the assignment that we had taken yesterday <clears throat> just let me read the assignment one notice the imagination going on within you does it seem to be going on all the time or only sometimes notice the desire in the imagination within you can you see that every desire you have seems to be associated with a feeling does your desire seem to be the same all the time or is it changing from time to time or is it that some desires seem to be constant while some keep changing notice that every desire seems to be associated with some or the other feeling is this feeling the same all the time or does it keep changing i think this has got repeated can you also notice thoughts and expectation within you sit down by yourself for a few minutes and notice your desires write them down and then see if these are motivated from within or from outside and note your observations nice so this is some assignment that we had taken yesterday so briefly going over the content that we have discussed so far so in a, basically we are trying to discuss whether happiness is our innate nature or is it some external influence and going by that yesterday we were talking about the activities of the self and harmony in the self and we are trying to see how happiness can be our innate nature ji so some hands are uh, by I, i was just reflecting over the assignment and i could see for the past one week uh, one of the content of my imagination was fear of death and that was triggered because we had been to srm chennai in that chennai trichy highway near madurandagam three road accidents took place and nearly 12 to 15 people died and when we look into the details of those deceased it was so painful and sorrowful that it keeps coming up again and again uh, all the proposals of uhc and all doesn't come doesn't work so i thought better uh, i was working upon it by yeah okay but still i couldn't so i thought better let me put the question so that at least from today onwards my content of imagination may not be that fear of death ji bhaiya fine didi so again i'll say that when you get reminded of that incident so look into your desire your thought your expectation so of course this is not desirable what has happened mm, mm, but you can mm. see why it has happened we can very much see why it has happened and then we mm. can see how with a feeling of self regulation we can avoid such incidences so if you look at the way people have been driving on the roads the way they have been utilizing the instruments like vehicle and all so these things are quite probable only that mm. people have to take care themselves now that we have express ways people are driving at very high speeds mm. the vehicles are also being manufactured in such a way that you can drive at very high speeds while the control of the vehicle is there so people mm. are missing those facilities on one hand we have to also see why people are traveling so much is it purposeful is it it now that mm. the income in the family is going up then people are spending so much money on traveling and touring and all those things doing it occasionally from time to time is okay but if we are trying to indulge too much then such incidences become more probable and people also do not have that feeling of responsibility either in relationship or to their own body so when they are driving also why are they driving so carelessly mm-hmm. and when they are driving are they not caring of taking care of the others on the road <laughs> yeah so that feeling of relationship is also not there and for excitement they are driving so ruthlessly completely unaware of what might happen in fact the police is after the people who are driving carelessly 
So why does the police have to interfere? Can't we be responsible ourselves? Those things have to be looked into. And they might have been going for a, maybe some nice purpose also, but again, uh, if they have not been driving carefully, then they are at fault. If the others were not driving carefully and they became victim, then also, and this is not a good thing to see. So when I, when we try to look into these things in our imagination, we can try to see the reason behind it and the solution to it, so that we feel resolved, isn't it? Yes. All these kinds of things keep on coming in our imagination and triggering us, and then we become uncomfortable. So when you try to sit by yourself and try to look into your imagination, you may get reminded of so many things. Something mm. quite unpleasant, unfavorable, something pleasant and favorable. So all those things will come to you. Unless you are resolved about all these things, your imagination is not going to be in harmony. Mm. That is for sure. How to overcome that fear, Bayan? I'm oh, not resolved yeah. within. <laughs> See? The fear of death within myself, and I'm not resolved, Bayan, so far. Okay, now this is another thing. So, mm. if you are fearing death, then you have to look into your level of understanding. Mm. See, the more I am aware of the presence of the self, different from the body. So I can always see that I'm not the body, I'm different from the body, I'm there with the body. And some incident might take place when I'm not there with the body. So one thing. Second thing, what am I going to lose after death? Try to make it out. Keep it open. What am I going I'm to lose? Having a list. <laughs> I'm having a list by yeah, that I'll be losing my dear ones. Pardon? My dreams will be shattered. I'll be losing my dear ones. My dreams will be shattered. My ambitions will not happen. Like that, I'm having a list to buy up. Yeah, then, like, when it comes to relationship, then you have to see uh, in what way you're trying to fulfill the relationship. So we can mm. have the right way to fulfill the relationship. So I can see that my participation in every relationship, every moment is right. Mm. No. If that is there, then I do not feel at a loss and I'm not able to participate further. So I'm always participating with this clarity. I am clear about this for myself as well as my relative. What might happen like death to me might happen to my relative also. Mm. This is quite possible. Mm. It is. So we'll take some precaution there. And when it comes to fulfilling dreams and ambitions, then we have to look into our desires. If we have some dreams or ambitions, right, which are not mm. leading to mutual happiness, mutual prosperity, or fulfilling the human goal, then why I'm nurturing such dreams also? So my basic aspiration is to be happy and prosperous in continuity. And the program is very clear for that. I have a definite program to fulfill my basic aspiration. So if I am preconditioned in certain ways so that I am nurturing some dreams, some ambitions within, which may not be in line with the right program, then I will evaluate them. And with passage of time, like the way we have been exploring, now we have to be little serious about those things. What dreams do I have? What ambitions do I am having? Uh, are they worth? Do I have to pursue them? That's what, no? Like we many times are not able to observe our own desires and we are dictated by them. And the desires are mostly to do with some favorable feeling from others or some favorable sensation from the body. Isn't it? Maybe at times you have a sorry. desire to... Yeah. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, my um, uh, my ambition or desire, we can say, by uh, 
uh, to reach that state of realization that is more prominent not other desires that is very clear bhaiya so in that case bhaiya yeah so first of all to reach the state of realization <laughs> this fear is not going to work at all so mm. i have to get into this fear see in fact to be able to realize the whole existence of be aware of the self first the continuity of the mm. self unless that is clear <clears throat> i can't proceed further so state of realization will come later first of all i have to look into the innateness of the self the participation of the self then i can see the submergence of the self and we'll see that the body is merely an instrument and this can be available again so why to fear for that so long as it is available then i have to make right utilization of it isn't it yes yes so that becomes overpowering by the fear is overpowering at that time uh, the body self and all i am not aware of it so that becomes dominant yeah it is overpowering because it might be the case that the proposals that we have listened to are presently primary primarily at the level of thought Mm-hmm. we need to contemplate mm-hmm. otherwise how can it overpower see when i can always see that i am always there and the body is just temporary it can go any time mm-hmm. mm-hmm. the body may go any time <clears throat> so i am always living with that awareness mm-hmm. i have this kind of fear when i am losing that awareness mm-hmm. when i am getting true. my being to the body and this is a very common kind of fear but this is very simple to come out of also it's not that it takes mm-hmm. so long time to come out of it you know if you are if you observe yourself different from the body and the moment you are able to observe yourself different from the body okay all those mysteries get resolved so mm-hmm. i am there whether the body is there or not fine i am there mm-hmm. and i will be there Mm-hmm. i will always be there it's not a matter of thousands or lakhs of years <laughs> i am there in mm-hmm. continuity isn't mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. and body just material it can be it can be there for few years only in the whole range of continuity if you see the being of the body is so so small mm mm like you can see it any time that yes the body just temporary in fact we get lost in the programs for the body and that's why you are saying that whatever we are doing for the body is only a very small part of my program less than 1/4 mm-hmm. isn't it i have much more to do mm-hmm. yeah if i have this clarity i will better utilize my body mm-hmm. so i can always mm-hmm. be aware that i am there and mod- mm. my body is there temporarily i am there mm. in continuity this instrument is available only temporarily okay mm. and if i am aware of this then i will make utilization of every moment of my life mm. otherwise just be in a day in 24 hours it may be that we lose so many hours unnecessarily doing things oh, which are not, not useful yeah mm. waste more time if i am aware of this i will try every moment of my life so this life is an opportunity for me to contemplate to understand to realize so the moment i am able to see that this body is merely an instrument i will become more serious towards my body i do not use this body for getting something as an information which will not lead to right understanding i will try the body every moment rightly mm mm-hmm. i can live with that level of awareness mm. isn't it ji ji nice thank you so much bhaiya let me explore those actions triggered that fear bhaiya but it is there dormant but now it has become active but let me work upon myself bhaiya 
Thank you so much. Yeah. In fact, from my side. you see that when we come across such situations, this is just one situation, we also become mm -hmm. aware of the deep preconditionings within us. These situations mm -hmm. give us an opportunity to become aware of the deep preconditionings. Okay. We'll see that when they go to the cremation ground, then they will get reminded of these things. That okay, one day the body has to go. All these physical facilities will remain here, right? So that gives us an opportunity mm -hmm. to be aware. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. I had a difficulty in number four. Uh, I was not getting clarity where the motivation is coming. Uh, I thought it is coming earlier. I thought it is coming from within, but then I, when I trace it back, then I realized it is coming outside. Then again, I, when I trace it back, then so this confusion. So how do I get clarity on this with, from where the motivation is coming? So ask yourself the purpose. So if you are looking into your imagination, something is going on. You ask yourself, why am I doing this? Why am I thinking about this person? Why am I thinking about that incident? What is my concern? So look into the purpose. If you look into the purpose, then you can see your motivation. So, Bhaiya, for example, I... I... Pardon? So, Bhaiya, for example, I like doing this exercise, I, I was thinking about, this was only in my imagination, predominantly. And then when I tracing back, so then I realized that this I want to do because of, I want to do, but then I then I also had a feeling um, that, you know, because uh, this will lead me to something, because this will yeah. give me this, this, like that. So most of the part, I have not experienced yet, but since I have heard and seen from outside. So then I thought maybe it is coming more from outside as expectation and... So if you look at the purpose behind this exercise, one purpose could be, and that is something you have to explore, to have the source of happiness inside. So we are trying to work so that we are able to ensure right understanding and right feeling within and the source of happiness becomes innate to me. I do not have to fetch it from outside. Presently, we have to fetch happiness from outside because the source is not innate to me. So we are doing these exercises. We are trying to contemplate. We are trying to understand so that we develop our higher level acti activities. We are able to awaken the activities of contemplation, understanding, realization, so that I'm happy by myself. I even don't have to depend on a body for happiness. I don't have to depend on anything outside, any other person, any situation. I'm happy by myself. And I'm participating then with happiness in every relationship in place of fetching it from outside. So that could be one motivation. But again, you have to see. You have to make out your own motivation. So ask yourself why. In fact, there is a technique which is generally employed uh, in manufacturing. Uh, it is called as ask why five times. So if there's any failure in the machine, then you ask why it happened. You get some answer. You again ask why it happened. You again get some answer. Again ask why. It is generally said that if you ask it five times, you get to the basic root cause. So if you ask yourself why you know, multiple times, you can see the basic motivation. So the basic motivation is that I want to be happy in continuity. And that essentially means I want to be in harmony in continuity. So for that only we are making all this effort. We get worried when we are not assured of this, that I'm going to be happy in continuity. We get concerned about relations when we are not able to see that others can be happy in continuity. And happiness is to be in a state of harmony my naturally acceptable state. That is the basic motivation. So I can ask myself why. And in due course of time, when you're asking why, you can also ask what it means. So what harmony means, what self means, what body means, what the other means, what sensation means. 
what understanding means you can keep on asking yourself and then you can get to the meaning of it so to see the motivation ask yourself why so you can also make it a kind of a uh, rigorous exercise you can ask it and write it ask again write ask again write if you try to do this consistently then you can see the correlation between the basic desire and your sub desires so you'll also be able to see how i am relating my basic desire to certain things and then you can make out the source whether it is preconditioning or sensation or is it something acceptable to me naturally okay didi ji bhaiya bhaiya one more clarification um so 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 what this stage is where you don't you, you don't feel excitement happiness you don't also feel uh, the other wise but you feel okay like normal okay things are there like that yeah so, so is is it is, it, is it the is it the happiness i mean you are not you, you there is not no disharmony within maybe not for yeah. for whole day but for some time so whenever you get this kind of confusion then try to see what happiness means so happiness is to be in harmony so ask yourself am i in a state of harmony within as soon as you ask this question then you might be able to see you know so many things about which you get into disharmony so is it harmony or not find it out for yourself ji bhaiya there are two things which are generally you know observed in a person's conduct one is laziness and the other is confusion so at times laziness means that i have the right program presented to me proposed to me but i am not ready to work for it this is laziness and the second state is that i want to work to fulfill my basic aspiration that i do not have clarity about the program in hindi it is called pramad and alas pramad is the state of confusion alas is the state of laziness so many times when we feel lazy also no we feel that it's okay fine life is going on you know why to bother about it so much things are okay so sometimes you are in the state of laziness but okay fine it's not that i am happy in continuity but i am not so much in grief also i am not so much you know in misery also so let it go fine and then there would be some state where i am deeply caught up in some situation and i want to come out of it i am not clear that is because when i had the opportunity to get clarity i did not utilize it i became lazy hmm so if you look at our daily routine at times we are confused at times we are lazy at times we have the time and opportunity to work for right understanding but we feel lazy and at times when we have to utilize our right understanding we do not have the understanding because we did not work for it timely now i have to make some decisions in my life i have to make decisions about my career about my spouse about our future life out health i my role in the society all those things but i'm not having the clarity because the time that i had to gain this clarity i have lost it so ask yourself whenever you feel that whether it is excitement or happiness or something else then find out yourself whether it is state of harmony or not if not i will work for it ji bhaiya ji Thank you, Mr. Namaste. Namaste, sir. Uh, I was there uh, for one minute. Uh, yesterday's incidents. We were finishing our FDP. I was also there in Varda, and to escort Aprajita Didi at Nagpur Airport. At six fifty, one of the member from that management joined our vehicle, and she was very uh, rushing, and she was not, we can say, in harmony. Uh, but still we were with in the same vehicle and we all were moving towards airport so 
when she entered i found that i was in harmony uh, my desire was to make myself happy and herself happy but from her expressions it was found that we were uh, somewhat um, <laughs> bringing um, this harmony into her uh, due to the late because her uh, flight was to reach by 8 and ours was to 8:30 so i was uh, trying with the trust feeling of trust care we can say uh, love also love with all he will be there by 7:55 in yahoo at the airport but she was not she was very unhappy but yeah so uh, so what can we do or rules are not clear bhai yeah so the whole thing is not very clear i'm missing out some words maybe okay. because of network issue okay 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 and there is some can you some mean thing then you can remove it yeah ha huh. can you uh, can you hear properly now ah uh, yes ha ji ji it is only thing that though i was having desire to make her happy miss another lady which was with us up to the airport but she was not happy but the um, what we are studied in the trust everybody wants to make himself or herself happy so bhaiya one minute on this point not very clear what you are saying okay uh, okay you are saying that you escorted aprajita didi to the airport and there was some another lady with you is that ji 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 correct ji what is the issue the issue is that, that lady was being um, unhappy due to our lateness and she was not knowing that we are also with her and we are getting late due to the program ji bhaiya okay so you reach you reach late at the airport ha ha no she was expecting unnecessarily she was expecting that we may reach and she may uh, miss the flight it was not the situation okay. we all three were happy aprajit didi myself and ajay bhaiya but she was not happy in the same vehicle in the same state and when we all have to reach at the same time at the airport why it is so please <laughs> yeah so it may be due to some past experience ji ji so when you have to catch a flight you have to be there you know by some time so like we might have some experience when we have missed some flight or we got delayed and our name was being called at the airport which was little mm -hmm. embarrassing you know ji yeah. or it, there are some uncertainties also involved for example they may insist for check in sometime and they may allow you with a hand baggage sometime yeah. so if you have to go for check in it will take at least 20 to 30 more minutes if you can simply go with the hand baggage you know then you can just go and go, go for the security check so those kinds of fluctuations are also there so it's safe to you know be on time so the boarding starts 45 minutes before the time of flight and it yeah. takes at least 45 minutes you know for the check in and security check so be there at least one and a half hours before yeah. and when you are going by road then there could be some traffic jams also so plan it well you know yeah. and when we have some person who is little more worried about this then mm -hmm. we can also take opinion what what time should we start and then you can mm -hmm. go by the common opinion for example mm -hmm. if four of us are going and someone mm -hmm. is little fussy about mm -hmm. this time then we can plan together you know what would be the safer time to leave from here ji mm -hmm. if you feel that you know just leaving this much time earlier is okay but the other is not comfortable then we plan mm -hmm. to we may plan to arrange for another vehicle for the person or we may try to assure the other mm -hmm. so that the other person is not uncomfortable ji ji bhaiya thank you the beauty of this incident was that that lady also was not knowing why all three are there and why all three are because both were from different management has clubbed us for the airport so so it was this case thank you bhaiya thanks a lot namaste sabhi ko nice dhanyawad so we have been been reflecting upon this yesterday we <clears throat> looked at the imagination in the self and the various sources of imagination we'll discuss it further today so we can see that imagination is there within me it's not there in the body and there is some content of imagination and some of the other content is always there i am 
active all the time and i have desire thought and expectation within me i can make out the difference between desire thought and expectation i can also look into the sources of my imagination which could be some preconditioning or sensation or natural occurrence and with this i am interacting with the body with which i am behaving and working and so long as my content of imagination is dictated by preconditioning or sensation i am enslaved because there is no definiteness of happiness there is dependence outside there is no point of completion there is no continuity so i am enslaved but i want to be self organized i want to have the source of happiness innate to me and that is possible only when my higher level activities are awakened so presently this could be the state and this activity at the level of 1 and 2 might not be active so i have to work for it so what i'll do uh, if you look at this particular diagram also no there is lot to observe here am i able to see the content of imagination at this point of time am i able to see desire there the thought there expectation there am i able to see the source of my imagination so what we can do for 5 minutes let us observe this you know let us be prepared because now what we are going to discuss will uh, require some more focused attention so let us observe this at this point of time and then we can go further so for 5 minutes we'll observe and then proceed
nice so to begin with observe the content of imagination so obje observe the object of your imagination what you are paying attention to what is the object of your attention find it out what you are thinking about what you are imagining about then try to look into the feeling with that content of imagination then you can further see the thought and the expectation associated so try to first of all make out the object of your attention that is the content of imagination you may spend some time just observing the content of imagination and then see how it migrates from one point to another point and to the next and to the next and to the next you can start by observing this if you start observing this then you become aware of the imagination at least you may not might not be able to make out you know uh yeah, what is the feeling there what is the thought there but you start getting prepared for that some persons may take a lot of time even observing the object of imagination the content of imagination so first of all try to look into this then you can look into the desire thought and expectation and then you can also see the source what is the basis for this now this is something that we are going to do elaborately step by step in exercise 1 nice so if there is any question or reflection we can discuss i was observing the content of imagination and it was uh, regarding my son's achievement i mean in in relation to earning and uh, i am not happy because he is shifting from one uh, profession to another profession and uh, <clears throat> this is the thing for which i am unhappy and i see my it, it is as a thought and my desire is that so how he he, can, he will be concentrating on one thing one profession and then uh, do well and my expectation is he will he will be settled and he will earn uh, naturally so i have seen that why this happened my feeling is uh, here like opposition i am and uh, why this happened because of maybe uh, i am not happy from the from, from some years or something and that may be preconditioning and now there is less of sensation because before that before some time before uhb i was reacting to him i was <coughs> scolding him like uh, something some reprimanding him uh, on that matter so now my feeling is that let me see and give some time to him and i am trying to uh, explain the what is what and how to do that and this was something i observed during this five five minutes so is he married yeah yeah married <laughs> and the spouse is also earning no no he is a housewife okay so now you just see whether you can sit with the family and uh, talk to them try to have a dialogue and if possible uh, we can uh, let them attend a workshop if the wife is not working and she is at home then we can initiate with her that you be there on the uh, for the workshop for three days in face to face mode or online for five days if that is possible it will also bring some change in their uh, expectations so oh. we can start from here <clears throat> this is possible otherwise try to have a meeting and try to look into what his aspirations are and then just uh. in place of uh, saying something from your side <clears throat> or dictating something you can just try to listen to them and find out what the son is looking for what his aspiration is yes i have proposed vision for the students now we have that discussion on i want to become something because i want to do or get something but that is primarily because i want to be happy so maybe our children are not able to see this correlation that essentially they want to be happy and if they do not understand that happiness is to be in a state of harmony they may be doing so many things which appears quite haphazard to us 
isn't it yeah yeah and this is something like a trend now if you can see the current generation the job hopping is so frequent <clears throat> in fact the employers are now uh, in addition to looking into your accomplishments are also looking into the number of jobs that you have hopped <clears throat> in the last two or three years if you are not stable in your job then your employability goes down because they want to see uh, stability in the yeah. employee even if the qualification is low but the stability is high they will go for it because the company train them and the moment these employees get trained they go into a new job so like some companies have started saying that our company has become like a revolving door people come from one side and then exit from another side so try to have a dialogue with the son and let him and his wife attend the workshop if that works okay. out that will work out very well yes yes thank you thank you thank you okay so when i sit down to uh, see this object of attention so uh, i am not sure whether i am looking at the imagination that is the thinking that i am having right at this moment or i am seeing the thoughts which is going in me how how to clarify that bhaiya not very clear so you are observing what is going on inside you at this moment yes yeah so so the doubt is like am i really looking into the thoughts that is going in me or am i having an imagination right at this moment and am i looking at that so you are trying to distinguish between thought and imagination not the imagination but the thinking so when i when i sit down to pay attention to what is going on in me i really doubt whether i am looking at the thought which is going or i think something at that time and i am paying attention to that okay so you are saying that am i observing the thought that is there in me or i am trying to create something and then observe it is that so yeah yeah maybe we can put it in that way by okay so just be there like it you know just be with yourself maybe to begin with you may try to fabricate something in your thought to create something in your thought and then observe but no need for that you will see that when you are doing that also some thought is coming to you naturally so okay. in the beginning you may have this kind of confusion but gradually when you get uh, aware of that thought which is there in you it just happened the last moment within you try to be aware of that and then you will not be required to create something from your side and you can just observe the way imagination is migrating from one point to another okay so just be with you don't try to impose anything upon yourself don't try to uh, say to yourself that i have to observe imagination no just be with yourself and imagination is there in you already you only have to be aware of it okay bhaiya okay thank you yeah. so to begin with you may have this kind of confusion otherwise with some you know uh, like practice you can very naturally observe it and then you can also look into your various concerns your aspirations your desires your worries your you know anxieties all those things you can observe your sources of happiness so just be with yourself keep on observing okay bhaiya thank you nice nice didi now elaborating upon the imagination you can see that in my imagination i have desire thought and expectation and desire is basically imaging i image something or the other image about my being image about my participation and then whatever i image i analyze it i compare various options with that and then i keep on selecting and testing <clears throat> so expectation is basically selecting and testing thought is analyzing and comparing desire is imaging now the basic image that i am trying to make out within me is to be happy in continuity 
I may not be clear about what is being, what is happiness, what is continuity, what is I, what is body, but there is some desire in me, okay, which I might not be very clear about. And I am trying to work for it. But since I am not very clear about my desire itself, I am then working mostly at the level of expectation, but I have some desire in me. And with that, I am trying to analyze the situations, my role, my circumstances, my relations, all those things. And then I am trying to compare various options, what to select, what not to select. And whatever I am trying to compare you know, among those choices, I am selecting some and then testing also from time to time. Okay, I'm, whatever I am selecting, I am getting the taste of it. So this is something that I am doing all the time. I have some desire, some thought, some expectation. The content is changing, but the activity is continuing. You'll see that if we do not try to explore, then we might be living only at the level of expectation. So these activities are also there, but not so developed. So we are expecting happiness from outside. The desire is there to be happy in continuity, but I'm not clear of continuity. I'm not clear of desire for happiness. And then I'm expecting happiness only. I'm trying to get happiness some way or the other. right? So mostly I'm trying to get happiness from outside, either by getting attention of others, appreciation of others, or through some sensation from the body. And I'm mostly active at the level of expectation. So when I'm not developed, the high level activities are not awakened, then this could also be a possibility. And this is something that we can relate to our own life also, that unless I start exploring, most of the time I am working at the level of expectation. And to fulfill those expectations, I am analyzing and comparing various options. And I'm not very clear also that essentially I want to be happy. So for example, I started a business and I'm trying to make it successful. So I'm expecting my name and fame you know, in the society, in my business. I'm expecting a lot of profit in my business so that I can have a big house, a luxurious car, a you know, lot many things to show off to the society, get sensations from outside and try to keep myself happy all the time. And for the time, analyzing and comparing. So what I'm doing, I'm mostly living at the level of expectation and my thought is devoted towards expectation. I'm analyzing and comparing to fulfill those expectations. But with, with some exploration, I can gradually start you know, being more active at the level of thought that, okay, let me also analyze whether my expectations are right or wrong. So I may fetch some ideas, some notions, some uh, theories, and then I may try to analyze. So some development has taken place. While I was earlier only working at the level of expectation, the physical facility or the body, being the core, being at the axis of my all activities. Now I'm trying to you know, uh, analyze things. I'm trying to analyze what society means. I'm trying to analyze what family means, what life means, what the purpose of life could be. I'm reading certain books. I'm getting some ideas from uh, some gurus. I'm trying to fetch some you know, notions from outside. All those things I might be doing. So I'm now becoming more active at the level of thought. But gradually, when we start exploring further, we become more active at the level of desire. So my level of living could be either I'm like one level, the lowest level could be I'm expecting happiness. Second could be I'm analyzing happiness. And further development could be I'm, ima I'm imaging happiness. What imaging, what happiness means, I'm trying to image it. What a happy life means what a prosperous life means. So I'm getting now more active. Now, in place of just working by borrowed notions, ideas, theories, I'm trying to image within me. And when I try to do it, then I start also looking into my natural acceptance. That is it naturally acceptable to me. So what we are trying to do through the workshop or courses on human knowledge, essentially, we are trying to shift the attention or shift the level of 
imagination from expectation to desire at least we can have a desire for happiness in place of just expecting happiness or analyzing happiness let us have a desire for happiness so that we try to image you know what happiness means and if you see what is happening within in our whole process of evolution now we are trying to image happiness at various levels and that essentially means we are trying to image harmony at various levels so presently we are working for that we are trying to image harmony at the level of individual in the self with the body we are trying to image happiness in our relationships we are trying to image happiness at the level of society you know, how people can live happily together we are trying to image happiness in our interaction with the rest of nature isn't it and then we are trying to image happiness in entirety how everyone can be happy how the soul existence you know, could be there in harmony we are trying to look into all those things so gradually we are evolving but we are still in the domain of imagination only in the lower domain this domain is called as block b2 okay and then we we'll see that so long as i am only working in this domain of block b2 then i still have the source of imagination as preconditioning or sensation and then though i am comparing still the comparing may be unguided it could be unguided in terms of senses or health or profit so senses essentially means that i am trying to get sensual pleasures from outside and i am comparing various options for that health means that i am trying to consume you know as much as possible so that i can be happy all the time profit means whenever it comes to exchange of physical facilities i am trying to exchange in such a way that i get the maximum to maximize my happiness things like that might be occurring and then i am craving for sensual pleasures from outside and the sensation is unguided so this could be our current state so you have to observe it little uh, uh i'll say uh, freely little you know in such a way that we are able to observe the natural state of mind in place of achieving something for myself in place of trying to impose some idea <clears throat> upon myself whether i am a good person or bad person no longer required to do all this you just try to observe as you are don't try to label yourself judge yourself just observe as you are okay and note it down at times you may feel that i am very bad person at times you may feel that i am very nice person all those fluctuations might be there sometimes you get feelings or thoughts which are inhuman quite inhuman sometimes you have thought or feeling which is quite humane so all those things could be there so observe your natural state the way you are don't try to impose anything yeah and be aware of that sir my question is what is a preconditions i know the main causes of the unhappiness is my preconditions many time i'm uh, use a word for the happiness is khush but i know the word is sukh this is my preconditions but the actually definition of preconditions i can't explain to the students the word i can use the precondition is the layer of desire is it right or not preconditioning means something i have assumed without verification that's preconditioning okay assuming assuming without knowing so assuming without knowing is my precondition but many time i experience the word uh, i use jab main jeene jaati hu to my behavior is different from the uh, living according to the uh actually the my behavior is different is it the preconditions yeah because you are assuming certain things without knowing and it starts reflecting in your behavior okay. even when you are not behaving you might be carrying those thoughts within you okay. though you are not always expressing them at times it gets expressed also so you may have and a numerous assumptions within us 
which we have not verified and we are just going to you know we are trying to live accordingly and this keep on getting expressed in our expression also from time to time okay okay sir thank you very much thank you very much will be it is now going to be time so i request uh, sir uh, is it the main uh, is, is it the main causes of unhappiness is our preconditions no yes so assuming without knowing is the source of all problems okay thank you sir thank you very much ji nice didi